Well, good morning, guys. Hope everybody's doing well, depending on where you are this snowy morning. It's a little snowy here. Uh, anyways, welcome to our third webinar. This is the Earned Value webinar. This is the shortest webinar. So if you've booked uh, 20 minutes or half hour, I'm going to give you all but 10 of those back probably. Um, but it's also the most lucrative from a financial standpoint. For those of you who are new to our webinars, my name is Chris Wells. You'll notice in the top right when you log in, there's a little control panel with an orange arrow. You can click that orange arrow to expand or minimize uh, the control panel. This webinar has two handouts. One is an overview of the key elements that I'm going to go over. Uh, you'll see it under the handout section if you expand that control panel. And the second one is the Postal Services um, handout on the full program. This, uh, this program is a little more technical than some of the others. I'll step you through some of it, um, but it's probably worth a read uh, to go over all the details. And that's the 2020 Earned Value uh, longer titled uh, PDF. <clears throat> so I will give you a few minutes at the end of the webinar to download those handouts. Um, and also, if you have questions, you'll see that below the microphone icon, you're all coming in on mute just to control the background noise. There is a little chat window where you can ask me questions and I'll answer those at the end of the webinar. If you have an urgent question and you need to get it answered right away, click the little hand icon that will raise your hand and I will call on you and we can handle it, uh, handle it then. Okay, so that being said, we're gonna get right into it. So again, this is our third, second on, on the list here, but our third webinar that we've done, Earned Value. Um, if you haven't seen Tactile Sensory and Interactive or Emerging and Advanced Technology, they are both on our channel, uh, which the link to that is in the handout, PDF handout. We're also doing an extra Emerging and Advanced Technology webinar this afternoon at four o'clock by special request. I think everybody's working from home and wants to get learned up. So that's what we're all about. Um, coming up, uh, over the next few months, we'll do personalized color trans promotional mailings, mobile shopping, and informed delivery. So, earned value. This really has everything to do with business reply mail uh, and also share mail, which is uh, a little bit different than business reply mail. I will go over it, but it's, it's basically using the same concept to forward mail versus to have mail come back to you. So, the key elements of this program, it's a fairly short promotion. It's one quarter. It goes from April 1st to June 30th. It's any class of mail, and it has to contain either a business reply envelope, postage paid remit envelope, Curtis reply envelope, uh, or it has to use share mail, which again, I will, I will uh, go over with you. The, um, the intelligent mail barcode needs to be used, and it has to have a pre-registered mailer ID. So that can usually be done by your mail house. They usually can use their own mailer ID and assign the campaign to you so that you get the money. And here's how the money works. For any new participants, in other words, if you did not do this in 2019, you'll earn two cents, a two cent credit per piece that gets sent back or forward uh, with that no postage required um, indicia on it. Uh, so <clears throat> that's pretty good because some of these, if you're using like a business reply, reply card, uh, postage could be, you know, 35 cents ish, something like that. So it's almost a 10% discount on the return postage. If you did this last year, there's good news and okay news. So the uh, okay news is that you still earn the two cents uh, credit, but you have to meet or exceed 93% of your 2019 volumes. So you have to make sure that you uh, get as, uh, at least 93% of the responses back that you did in 2019. There's no limit on how many campaigns you can utilize this with. You can do it as many times as you want uh, during the period. The good news, if you participated last year, is that if you exceed your volume last year, if you do 100% or more, um, you'll get four cents per piece credit. So last year, the program was, was three cents for everybody. This year, it's a lower um, amount for new people and uh, existing, uh, existing participants that, that, um, that don't do more, uh, but there's a big upside to do more if you did it last year. And that's a big upside. My guess is knowing the USPS, they're gonna to continue to do it that way. So that means that uh, doing it this year will get you into the higher rate next year. Uh, the way this works is that you will get a credit. So at, after June 30th, the USPS will do all the counts and they'll send them to you for verification. This is how many BREs or share mail pieces or credits reply envelopes we've tracked. Does this match your numbers? 
once you agree on that, they will put a credit into your postage account. If you don't have a direct account, they'll um, give it to your mailing partner and then they will use it as a credit for future mailings. So the way it works is you from then from September 15th and December 31st, you can use those credits on any first class um, pre-sort uh, mailing. So um, you can basically, or and also the marketing standard mail. So it's really any kind of letter, flats, anything. Um, you can take those credits, you can apply them to any postage that you use during that period at the end of the year. So the key dates, again, registration period's already started. It just goes until the end of the month. And then the promotion is April 1st to June 30th. It's one quarter. Uh, they'll start approving the counts. Usually last year, I think it was around the third week of July, people started seeing some numbers. Um, but uh, then they wait until September 15th just to make sure everything comes back in. And then from September 15th to December 31st, you can actually use the credit. So there's really not a lot of examples with this. I mean, everybody kind of knows what a business reply mail is. The only thing is share mail, and this is new to the program this year. So for those of you who aren't familiar with share mail, again, it's kind of, the concept is it's you, instead of business reply mail, where you're paying for the postage for people to return things to you, um, and you only pay when those things travel through the mail, but you can print the no postage re required on, on every business reply envelope. Share mail uh, uses the same concept for a end user to forward mail to other people. So how does that work or why would it work? Basically, if you think of right now, uh, political campaigns are pretty hot. So if you have a group of say a thousand people that are on your, uh, you know, are really good supporters, you could do a specialized direct mail piece that maybe has a, uh, uh, a request for donation letter and then the bottom of that could be six or eight pre-perfed, say, normal-sized postcards with, uh, you know, the content and the creative that you want, basically wanting for this person to forward these to their friends so that their friends can also donate. So all the person needs to do is fill out their friend's information and address, perf those postcards off, drop them in the mail. They don't need any postage. You would only get charged when uh, these things go through the postal stream. So that's one example. Also gets used a lot with coupons. So it's fairly, I mean, it's been around for a while, but it's just starting to pick up traction. Part of it is how do we take advantage of the power of sharing on social media and do it in a physical manner? So that's another way to do it. So if you have a coupon or an offer code, you can have that person that you know is your loyal customer or your raving fan, and they can then send that out, that offer code out to uh, their friends and family using these these pre uh, created and, and uh, pre-postage paid postcards, and you would only get paid for that, uh, you would only get charged for that postage that gets used when they do that. Uh, you could also kind of tie that back and say, you know, with some um, personalized URLs or something like that, where uh, you know who the initiator was, and maybe their discount can go up or something to that, to that, to that effect. So that's what share mail is. It's basically business reply mail working a little bit in reverse. So it's uh, allowing your customer to send mail out. So like I said, this is a short presentation. There's not a lot of examples of creative ways to use business reply envelopes. Share mail was kind of the most creative thing that we saw. Um, if you have any questions, I'm gonna look right now. I don't see any. I don't see any hands up. I'll leave the presentation open for just a couple of minutes if you wanna grab those handouts. Uh, again, there's, there's some complexity to setting this up um, that your mailing partner can step you through. Uh, pretty easily. I wouldn't try to do it with the USPS uh, on your own because you have to log into the dashboard and things of that nature. But anyways, if it's something you do, if you do use business reply mail, this is a no-brainer. Sign up for it because you're going to save two cents for every piece that gets uh, that gets used. So that's just a that's just a bottom line cost savings. It doesn't make any 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 sense not to do it. All right, guys. Again, have a wonderful day. And if you've got nothing going on at four, shoot me off an email. Education at dsgraphics.com or cwells at dsgraphics.com. I can send you the information on the Emerging Advanced uh, Technology webinar. Enjoy.